Yeah, so the the rapid um, fencing subsidy that became available really enabled us um, to look seriously at getting back into a sheep enterprise. Uh, up until now, wild dogs have been completely decimating the, the sheep industry in Western Queensland and arguably no more so than here. Um, we sold all our sheep in 2010 as a result of wild dogs that are eating up to 30% of the animal ewes a year and we were getting as low as 2% lambing and uh, um, among other things. But more than that, the impact uh, had a huge effect environmentally on the on the paddocks. Uh, the dog pressure was, was causing overgrazing in some areas of the paddocks. Um, that led to, um, you know, woody weeds and things, a lack of control in your weeds uh, and a lack of equality through grazing pressure across the paddock. These fences are really going to allow us um, to better utilise our paddocks from a production point of view. Um, hopefully get back into a sheep offering, you know, a sheep enterprise offering a, uh, an alternative enterprise, an increased cash flow opportunity, uh, better control of the, the woody weeds and the pasture management program. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree. I think these fences are the single most effective tool that we currently have available to us to help combat wild dogs. Um, you know, tools such as baiting and trapping and shooting are proving ineffective, and um, although they will still be carried out, you know, inside these fences, um, these will uh, these fences will will provide the backbone of our wild dog control program and. Um, I agree with Ben. I think uh, if we are any chance of of running an alternative enterprise to beef cattle in this in this country here, uh, such as sheep and wool and goats, um, it will be because of this fence.